I can't stop now, you know, even with this obstacle right now on my knee. I think I owe it to the guys that I grew up with, my family, and just myself, you know, to keep going and, and persevere, get over this hump, and um, I will get over it. Whatever team drives me, you know, it's going to be a team. Uh, they're going to get a great player, but not only a great player, a person that's been through um, trials and tribulations, a player that's going to be able to push through anything. And that's big, you got it. that's mentally tough. And uh, that's what this thing is doing. I'm uh, never giving up. And uh, that's just where I'm at at this point in my life right now. My name is Jalen Juice Dunlap. I play cornerback, University of Illinois, 2018 NFL Draft Prospect. And uh, that's my story. Jalen started playing football at the age of five. As a mom, I didn't want him to start at that age, but he bagged us and bagged his dad and his older brothers. Both were playing football with Dalton Bears, so we allowed him to play. He suited up and practiced, but he really wasn't in the hitting and all of that because I asked his coach just to kind of let him be in a backfield and just make him think he's really involved in the game. So, But as he got older and just got better and better, he started playing and was more involved in the game. And he was always a leader in the game, you know, always stood out from some of the other kids. He was always just recognized for being a MVP, you know, player and um, making plays, and they used to call him Scrap Iron, Scrap Iron Dunlap. Ask Jalen was he good when he came out here. I've been knowing Jalen since he was about five or six years old, and I rode him constantly. And now he played with his heart. He's not that big. There's a lot of guys over there bigger than Jalen. A lot of them, but guess what? He played from the heart. And that's the way this game is played with emotion. You play off your sleeves, fellas. It's not played by how big you are. Well, they thought it was going to be easy, but they know civil rivalry is always tough, guys. It was one family out here today. We played hard. We played hard, fellas. Oh, no, the fifth quarter. There you go. Hold it up for the camera, Jay. Work hard, boy. You worked hard. Hit man. Get in that picture, baby. Becoming a football work, player fellas. at the age of five, you know, you young, and you younger than most other people that's out there, and I was like the smallest one. I had to have heart and courage to go out there and play and tackle guys that's much bigger than me. You know, I didn't always have it, you know, at the beginning, but I think that's what made me the player that I am today, getting knocked down and having to get back up. It was hard out here playing football for the Dumb Bears because everybody played tough and everybody played hard, so if you got knocked down, you had to get back up. You came back down from challenges. The strengths in my game now came from here, being a physical corner. That all started way back, way before, you know, I got to college having to be physical and having to tackle and just, just go hard. Jalen's getting ready to go into surgery right now. Um, he's ready, ready to rock and roll so he can start healing. How you feeling? How you feeling, Juice? Good to go, ready to get it. God got you, you got this. So we'll see you in a few hours. You're gonna be a little Froggy, but you're gonna be all ready to rock and roll. Yes. It was hard to see your child jumping up, catching an interception, and to come down, and then the next day his leg is big as a football itself. But I can say that he has helped me, you know, during this process because his his attitude has just been mind blowing. Just by the grace of God, just his will to just continue on and not to get swallowed up in, you know, the whole disappointment of it all. When my injury happened, I was um, in L.A. playing an NFL PA bowl game. I got an interception and I was returning the interception. I just made a regular cut that I've been making since I was, you know, making it out here, you know, so since I've been doing for over 15 years, just a regular cut. 
and um, I felt my knee kind of shake. You know, it was just something that I thought, you know, it was mine. But um, I ended up getting it checked out and looked over from um, like three different doctors. And uh, finally, the third doctor told me I had an ACL torn. So I went into surgery that day. Been going to rehab since then, you know, six days out the week. I'm definitely on the right page of, of, of getting better and exceeding what the doctor is throwing at me, you know, with time limits and everything. Even now, I've, I've been four weeks out and the things that I'm doing right now, the doctor is wild. Every step I take, you know, it's things that I'm doing at four weeks that guys are doing at seven weeks, you know, so um, those are big and it's a blessing, you know, just to be able to push through and, and, and be able to exceed the limits that the doctor is putting on me. So um, working hard every day, everything that I'm doing, you know, is, is towards that, towards getting back on the field. You know, my mindset is, is good. I'm just going hard and, and I will be back better than ever. Anything in life that you want to do is attitude. And so I'm just grateful that during this time that this attitude has been just so wonderful and has blessed me as a mom. What football means to me, um, it means a lot. Football means um, everything, actually. You know, it teaches you a lot of things that, that you're gonna have to incorporate in your, in your daily living. You know, it teaches you how to get up from being knocked down. You know, it teaches you how to get over obstacles. Um, it teaches you discipline, you know, time management, um, being on time for things, you know. But not only things like that, um, it's an opportunity um, to change lives. Um, financially for me and uh, emotionally, you know, uh, with football, I could do a lot. You know, I could give back to the community. You know, I give back to this field. You know, I could help my family out. I could help myself out. Love of the game that I got from playing out here. You know, I started off at the age of five, willing to play any position, you know, strictly for the love of the game, man. You can't buy that, man. You can't find a player that's successful and he don't love the game. So I think that that's big, especially at the national football level. You got to love the game, man. You got to have perseverance. You know, you got to be willing to, to get knocked down and get back up. Football means a lot to us. It helped mold it, um, our children, you know, as they are today. It basically backed up what we taught them, you know, just to um, persevere, keep pushing, work hard, dedication, teamwork. Nothing is given to you, you have to work for it. So that, you know, was one thing that my husband always taught the kids. He never, you know, made them feel special. Um, he always make, made them earn the right to whatever it was in life. So that, that was instilled in my children. And I gotta give credit to my pops uh, of him being on me and making sure that I was making all the right decisions off the field. Just hard work has been embedded in me, you know, from day one. You know, whatever you want, you gotta work hard for. You gotta, you know, strive to be the best at whatever you do. He is giving it all that he have to come back. And I am so happy that he's transparent, that he's using this opportunity and this setback um, as growth and a testimony for others to let others know that whatever it is in life that gets you down or disappointment is a life adversities that you just have to keep pushing. You have to keep going no matter what, giving it your all. You have to choose to be better and to do better and to don't stop, don't quit, as we used to say at Dalton Bears. So when I found out I tore my ACL, I really wasn't that mad. You know, I, I just believed in God and trust his timing with everything. And, uh, you know, and I know everything is gonna work out, you know, because I'm a good football player. So once I get back on the field, I'm going to make plays and I'm going to make whatever team draft me happy. Push through, you know, that's the main thing, you know, to never give up. Um, like, I, I want my story to be a testimony to the next football player that, that get injured, you know. Right now, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom. Um, the draft is um, a month and a half away. I don't know why I'm getting drafted. I don't know nothing, but I'm leaning all on faith, you know. So if I can come out here and... And, and still put a smile on my face and still, you know, feel good and work hard. You know, I just want that person that's going through whatever they're going through right now that's watching this to keep going. You know, don't stop it. Whatever that is, it's bigger than just football, you know, just with life. Once I get over this and I get drafted and I become a Hall of Famer, you know, and, I, and, and people look back on, well, he had this 
stacked against him. He had this stacked against him, and he still prevailed, and, and he still went far and, and, and won. So when a kid see that 15 years from now, they're going to look like, man, I could do that same thing, you know, because I'm not going to be the last person that faced an injury right before the draft. But whatever story you got in life, um, I just want to share minds to motivate people that's going through the struggle. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's watched this. You know, I want to say thank you to all my fans, um, all my supporters, anybody that's just uh, rooting for me. I want to say thank you. I know everything is not going to be perfect in life, but one thing you can do is keep pushing. You know, don't ever stop. Don't ever quit. Always mind a setback for a major comeback. And um, I will be in the NFL, and I will be a Hall of Famer. Zayn Dunlap.